What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, following last episode, um, still having some oiling issue with the turbo, so we really need to figure out what is going on with that. If you run a ball bearing turbo, typically you'd probably run a 0.4 or 0.04 um, restrictor, but if you're running a journal bearing, some people recommend not even running anything, running 4AN, 3AN, or running 0.06 upwards 0.09. But what that really comes down to though is oil pressure, which is why today I'm checking my oil pressure. Now I'm not gonna check the oil pressure in the engine. What I'm actually checking for is the oil pressure right in the turbo. So I have an adapter here. Now typically your oil pressure in the engine is probably the same as the turbo, but because I'm running four turbos, I'm not really sure how much I'm losing as it kind of splits into four. I'm gonna put a mechanical gauge, so I should probably put that fitting first. I don't have any plans of keeping this here permanently. So this will be more of a, just a quick check to make sure that I actually have oil pressure or adequate oil pressure. Now my guess is I have adequate oil pressure, but at this point I'm just not sure if I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just verify everything. Okay, put that in. Hopefully this thing clears the hood. I think they'll clear the hood. The nice thing about running mechanical is I could just hook this up and not have to worry about power. Downside though is it's kind of nighttime right now so I'm gonna need a light to see this when I actually go for a drive. And this is pretty basic or standard uh, oil pressure hookup. So just get your hose here, put this thing right there. And then you have this little insert. I gotta put true. All you do is push it in, and then this will crimp it in place. Now, if this was more a permanent setup, I'd probably go copper line on this, but again, just temporary, so this should be fine. So let's put this inside the car. All right, so the inside is set up the same way. Gonna put that in there, and then your insert. And put it through here. Alright, and I was thinking I was gonna put it right here. For now. I'm just gonna use my vice grip right here. Tilt it a little bit. That's our oil pressure. Alright, so I have you guys here switch to the GoPro. Hopefully it's not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and do a cold start and see what our oil pressure is at the turbo. like about 40 psi cold start so let's go for a drive well once it warms up a little bit we'll go for a quick drive looks like normal driving is about 40 50 psi or so So let's talk about the oil pressure right quick. Uh, 40 PSI at cold idle, which is pretty good. And then cruising is about 40 PSI as well, so it stayed relatively the same. I think it dropped a little bit though when um, it warmed up some more, but that's pretty good. The only concern that I really have is going into wide open throttle, it still held about the same pressure. With the hot idle, it's about 20 PSI. So that's, I guess that's kind of the norm, but I think that's kind of low. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm not I'm not like an LS guru in here, so I don't know what you know the actual specifications are for what's really good. Granted though, this is one something you just have to keep in mind. 
that I am measuring it from up top, being that you already got the splitter, right? And then I have all the restriction of the bends, the 4AN, and then finally making it up top. So it's probably a little bit higher when I actually measure it from the block, but to me, that's close enough. I was gonna say good enough, but now I feel like I need to measure the block, so I'll probably do that next time. So what that means is I'm only actually getting 40 PSI a little bit less or maybe around 40 psi during wide open throttle which means I need to open up my restrictors which means I think that might be my uh, one of my problems at least because it could be something else it could be my actual oil drain but maybe I'm not sending enough um, oil through the turbo cartridge which it might be too late guys it might be too late but we'll open it up anyway just in case now for those who are wondering why I ran a restrictor, um, it's because I actually have a ported uh, oil, oil pump on there. So I wasn't sure if I was going to need one, but I should have just verified the actual pressure. you know. But at the time it was a little bit um, difficult to do that without having the car fully running and drivable and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open this up all the way. So it's going to be essentially just 4 a.m. straight into the turbo. And I'm going to drill this. This is not aluminum. This is stainless steel. So I'm going to dr drill it from the top here uh, just to make sure it's all, all centered. Alright guys, so I have everything put back. Um, I think I'm down to like two things. It could either be the positive uh, crankiest ventilation system that I have, which I don't. I only have like a breather. Um, or it could be the oil drain from the turbo. Now I'm pretty confident about the angle of the turbo, so I think that's good. So to tackle the PCV, I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow or possibly in a couple days. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.